In this video, I will show you how to remove a device from Amazon Prime Video. So the first thing you're going to want to do is come across to Amazon, so whether that's .co.uk or .com, and you just want to make sure that you're logged into your account. So once you're actually logged into your account, if you look at this toolbar underneath the search box up here, uh, you'll see some options, and what you want to do is actually click onto Prime Video. So what it's going to do is take you across to the Amazon Prime Video and from here you're going to want to look for the settings gear. So if you look up here in the top right hand corner you'll see this little gear icon. So what you're going to want to do next is go ahead and give that a click and then come down and click on to settings. So at this point it might actually prompt you for your password because you, you are of course accessing the settings. So if that's the case just go ahead and enter that and click the sign in button. So what's going to happen, it's going to take you across to the settings and at this point to make sure you're in the settings for Prime Video, if you look at the top here you can see we're still in the Prime Video section. So from here we're going to come to the options at the top of the page and then from here you just want to find the Your Devices option which is this one here and just go ahead and give that a click. So what's going to happen, this is going to list all the devices that you're currently watching Amazon Prime Video on. So you can see for example in my case I've only got this set up on Sky. So you can locate your device from here. So to deregister this from the device, what you want to do is click the deregister button over here like so. And then it's going to come up with a final prompt saying, are you sure? Go ahead and click that again. And what that's going to do is remove the device from Amazon Prime Video. So I hope this video helped you out today. And if it did, I'd really appreciate it if you dropped a like on the video. And make sure you do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest tips and tricks for everything tech and digital related. With that being said, I just want to take a moment to thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you in the next tutorial.